What's up guys? I uh, wanted to put together a quick video on the tools that I'm working with. Um, some things have changed since uh, I began this process of making armor. Um, I'm still sticking to the very inexpensive, very uh, readily available tools you can find at Harbor Freight, Home Depot, Amazon, Lowe's, places like that. Um, nothing too expensive, nothing too complicated and weird. Um, and if you are on mobile, You'll see a little link up here you can click. If you're on desktop or laptop, it'll be down below, where you can uh, come right to my website, armortemplates.com, to the tools page, it links directly to that, and it takes you to um, all, all of the Amazon links that I have listed on there, so you guys can easily find all of the tools that I've got um, and more. Uh, some of the stuff is still on my wish list, but I will be getting some of it pretty soon. I know this isn't the most exciting uh, video in the world, but if you guys like you can uh, let me know what you want to want me to make in the next tutorial um, And that'll keep this conversation going and keep it kind of fun Make sure to tune in next week where I show you how to make a dishing stump I'm getting a lot of questions about that still so I wanted to show you guys um, In tutorial form how I make a dishing stump and how you can make one as well for a very 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 little money I mean really it's just a piece of wood. It's not that much money at all We'll start with the safety stuff. Uh, these are gloves I found for a couple of bucks. And uh, the, of course we have uh, uh, eye protection. Very, very, very important to have this stuff. Here's your hammers. We're going to go over one at a time. You don't need everything on this list, guys. Just uh, I'm just going over what I have here. These are ball-peen hammers. I got a set of five of them for like 20 bucks. You can see they got one rounded side and one generally flat side, but it's not completely flat. It's got a lot of curve to it um, when it comes down to it. This is a very flat hammer uh, called a body hammer, and that's the same, same kind of hammer you use for um, doing body work on cars. Very important to have a flat hammer. Good investment. This is a rawhide hammer. I do a lot of rounding of the edges with this. It's just a little bit more um, gentle and not so uh, harsh on the metal when you're doing stuff like that. Um, a rubber mallet will work too, but just keep in mind it's going to bounce on you if it's made of rubber. This is a brick hammer or brick layers hammer. Um, I don't use it very much, but when I do use it, I use this end only. Here's a sledgehammer head. As you can see, the bottom of it is just old and beat up and not polished. And I polish the top of it. I use both ends of this. Sort of like an anvil, so very, very handy to have that. This is a chisel I found in the garage. I use it all the time, too. This here is a masonry chisel. Um, you see me use this for making straight lines creases and stuff in the metal. I use both ends of this as well. This is a railroad spike. As you can see, I've got the top of it here polished with sandpaper so it's nice and flat. I use it for planishing, uh, flattening metal. And I also have another one just like it but not polished. I use this for uh, riveting and stuff like that, just general purpose metal work. These two are the same and they come out of a air chisel set. I use them just like regular chisels with a hammer. This is some kind of nail or something I found in the garage. I use this for riveting in hard to reach places. And this is a piece of gas pipe. I use it for rounding small things. This is an anvil, or really it's an ASO, or anvil shaped object. I try not to use anvil, the anvil so much anymore because I know you guys don't have them, but uh, very, very handy to have. I strongly suggest getting one if you're getting serious about this. You're also going to need a bench vise. I don't know how you get by without one. And a bench grinder comes in very handy as well. As you can see, I've got a grinding wheel on one side and a wire wheel on the other. This is a dishing stump. Make sure to tune in next Friday when I show you how to make this dishing stump. This was an end cap for a very large pipe, a six inch pipe, which I have cut up and welded back together to make my own dishing form. You can also buy dishing forms, they're very expensive. Um, you can make your own out of the bottom of uh, uh, air tanks and stuff like that as well. Very handy to have that. This here is a dapping set. 
you see me use it several times, especially with my repose process. Um, you don't need to set this big necessarily, but um, it's very handy to have. I call this a rivet block sometimes, but it's really called a dapping block. Comes in very handy making rivets. The rest of the stuff um, you don't really see me using much in the videos because uh, I don't use them much, but uh, certainly you could use your imagination and use this to form metal very well. This is kind of like this, very similar. You see me use exhaust pipe a lot too for rounding metal. Um, you can pick this stuff up for a couple of bucks at the auto parts store um, and it comes in very very handy rounding stuff like gauntlets and van braces, etc. This is uh, one of my favorite tools, it's called a power punch. It's basically a hole punch for uh, metal and um, as you can see it comes with lots of little dies you can switch out so you can change the size of, the, of your holes. As you can see it kind of works just like this. Just like a hole punch, these are your dies where you switch them out. Love this tool. But sometimes you'll need a drill, so make sure you have one of these as well. As far as cutting goes, uh, this is really what I use. I get a lot of questions on this stuff too, but um, I do it the old-fashioned way. But my next purchase will be a Beverly shear or a throatless shear, um, which will make this so much easier. Um, so check that out on the site as well. These are regular aviation snips. These here are bulldog snips, sometimes called bull nose snips. And the, the fulcrum is different, so um, you get a lot more, um, a smaller beak, but a much easier cut. So I love these things, they come in very handy all the time. These are called end nippers. I use these for um, cutting off uh, the nails to make rivets. Very handy as well. Also for cutting, you can use a handheld grinder with a cutoff wheel inside of it. These are the cutoff wheels, as you can see, but you can switch them out so that you can use uh, regular grinding wheels as well, which comes in very handy. And I also use uh, these things called a flap disc. Sometimes I call them a flap wheel, but they're basically sandpaper at the bottom of, of this thing. Great if you're terrible at welding, too. Um, this is a Dremel tool, of course, so you can see. Um, I, I use this little cutoff wheel a lot with it um, to cut out intricate parts. And I also use these um, rotary burrs, these uh, metal cutting bits, uh, quite a bit as well. This is a, a seamer tool. Sometimes I call it a break, but uh, it's actually called a seamer tool. You can find it in gutter and downspout sections at uh, home improvement stores or, like I said, online links are beneath the video. This is a file set. I don't really use this one very often, but the rest of them I definitely do. All of them come in very handy. Couldn't get by without these. Make sure to check out all my other videos where I show you how to make all this cool armor and stuff, and make sure to look under the video where you can find a link to my website where you can get all of these tools um, and all of these templates as a matter of fact. Find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash armor templates. Give the page a like. I always have contests and cool stuff going on over there. So keep in contact with me. Come in there. Also visit armortemplates.com where all of my templates are available. Right. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Okay. 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 All right. You're too big to sit in my lap. You're too big. You're too big.